Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Daniel Pontius, Sonora, California. God is leveling your mountains. The moment I opened my eyes this morning, I heard this scripture echoing across my spirit. I will go before you and level the mountains to make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut asunder the bars of iron. Isaiah 45, 2. As I went and began to look at it, the Holy Spirit hit me with another one. For who are you, O great mountain of human obstacles? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, a mere molehill, and he shall bring forth the finishing gable stone of the new temple with loud shoutings of all the people, crying grace, grace to it. Zechariah 4, 7. As I read these scriptures, the Holy Spirit declared, The enemy has been doing his best to throw as many mountains of resistance into the faces of my people. But my anointing is going to break down and move, dismantle, and destroy every one of them. Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, of whom the oil is a symbol, says the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 4, 6. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is not only your ally in ministry, but he is your great defense, your great empowerer against the tactics of the enemy. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and put him to flight, for he will come like a rushing stream, which the breath of the Lord drives. Isaiah 59, 19. There is a stream of the Holy Spirit's presence. It's arising in his people right now. It is that overflowing stream of his anointing and his power. It's going to destroy every obstacle that he has attempted to place in your path. Speaking about the enemy. The breath of the Lord is going to be the driving force behind this stream. And as it comes forth, the enemy's plans, tactics, devices, they are going to be swept away by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Those mountains you're facing, they are about to shrink in size like you never thought possible before. And when they do, you'll know it was God's power, not your own abilities, that did it. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I thank you that in the word you do say that we can speak to a mountain. But Lord, we know that it's your words on our lips. It's your breath in our mouth. Father, we know that it is because of Jesus' finished work that we have that delegated authority. Thank you for leveling the mountains in our life, Father. Lord Jesus, we speak to the mountains. I speak to the mountains specifically in my friend's life. Friend, the mountains that are holding you back, God is about to level. Those mountains that seem too high to climb, God's going to cut them down to size. Lord, I thank you that there is so much encouragement, so much excitement, Father. Thank you so much for our brother Daniel, Lord. Pray you continue to bless him and his ministry. And Father, that we would continue, we would continue to see you as the great leveler of our mountains. Those things that the enemy has placed in our life are no match for the living God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.